How many times did it take you to pass your city exam? One. I mean, only one. Yeah. What do you mean? I am failing. I'm terrible at vlogging. I am not doing the daily vlogs at all. Partially because I decided to do that right as I was going out of town to visit a friend and traveling and it's hard as shit to edit on my MacBook because it's so old and slow and the screen's small and I just need a lot of real estate to edit. But also, I'm traveling, I'm with my best friend, I'm trying to have fun, and my life's fucking boring. These people that daily vlog have much livelier lives than I do. I'm freaking on a plane or I'm editing and then I'm working. I'm working with real estate agents, which maybe a lot of you guys are watching to see that, but my life's boring and you don't wanna watch me fucking edit all day. And I've been editing a day that's already happened. So I'm living like the same day over and over and over. I do like my clients right now though, especially the new one I just picked up in uh, Washington. Allie Wise, she just really fucking gets it. And I like having clients that get it. I give her ideas and she hasn't, I mean, she's probably turned down an idea, but she usually doesn't turn down my ideas because she trusts me. It helps that her husband's a CMO of a large company. So I'm sure she hears shit like this every day from him. Um, and that helps me to pitch shit to her. But it's really hard in real estate. I'm sure you guys are like, Matt's fucking crazy. He's holding a camera and driving. Yeah, fuck it. I'm heading to Atlanta to see a client, one of my clients down here, Katie Arlt, who, if you watch the vlogs, you know who she is. Um, we're filming today. I'm part of these freaking real estate groups on Facebook because so many of my clients are in real estate. And someone posted in this group, uh, some agent was like, how many people have failed the license test the three maximum, or uh, the three times, the maximum amount? I didn't know there was a maximum amount, but he said, like, the maximum three amount, which he was saying he's failed it three times. And so many people commented and said they did. Some people, uh, several people said, that's not the max amount. I failed it seven times. I failed it eight times. Literally people said that. Don't, that list quickly became a list of agents to never fucking hire. If you fail at something eight times and you don't say to yourself, this is not for me, what the fuck is wrong with you? I've got a saying that says, when you fail at everything, you become a real estate agent. Now, that's not always true because some people are really fucking smart who get into real estate. And a lot of my clients are really fucking smart people that realize that they can do a good job and are good salesmen and get into real estate. My clients are the exception to the rule most of the fucking time. But there are too many fucking agents out there. Google how many agents are in your city. It's too easy. And that's the crazy thing. It's too easy to become an agent. How are you failing eight times? And I've met some stupid agents. There's a big time agent in town, Chet and Beth Smith. I don't care. Everybody is on blast. People, you are, you are trusting these people to sell your house. Beth Smith told me that she would rather spend $400 on putting a listing in a newspaper, the Greenville Journal, than paying me to make a video for her listing. I don't know where to get newspapers. I'm sure I can go online and type whatever the newspaper is .com in and get a subscription, I guess. But at best, at best, you're paying $400 to be in something that's at best yesterday's news, shit that you learned about 24 hours ago, and once, it's in there one time. I showed her a video of, of a listing that I did that had 11,000 views, 10.6 thousand views. I'm not gonna lie to you, 10.6 thousand views. I don't know how many whatever the Greenville Journal has, but that video lives on, on in the internet. 
it doesn't just get thrown away when you re when you get done reading yesterday's news. Ask every agent you're about to hire, did you fail the test eight times? My arm is fucking tired. Time to go. This is terrible. I don't want to go. I just want to play me. I have interesting clients. How many times did it take you to pass your real estate exam? One. I was on uh, this Facebook group, this real estate Facebook group, and this guy posted, uh, has anybody else uh, failed the max limit of times, three times? Oh, snap. Yeah, I didn't do that. But and, actually, and then I other think people, it's common. Other people commented that, 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 that the max limit isn't three and that a lot of them failed seven or eight times. Don't they just teach you how to pass the test? Yeah. Like, I went to Barney Fletcher when in 2006. Like, this is my 15th year. Isn't that crazy? So, in 2006, it was like, we're the best school. We have the lowest fail rate because we're so hard on you to pass the school test, you know? And there was actually a cram course where they just tell you how to take the test. Like they're just saying, uh, if you see this, make sure you just don't choose that. You know, it really is like a, a school about how to pass the test, really. Filming with Katie today and she was kind enough to uh, let me still have a meeting that I have down here and come with me. So we're headed to that now. You're kind, right? Kind of. <laughs> I was talking about this on my vlog on the way down here. I had this, uh, she's a very prominent agent in, in Greenville. Like, mm -hmm. people know her. She's a big time agent. Yeah. And I talked to her about doing video for one of her listings like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And I told her the price and she said, I just don't see the point in spending that kind of money on video. She said, I'd rather put an ad in the Greenville newspaper than do a video on a listing. I know one person that reads the newspaper. One. And he is a very successful penny pincher that would probably sell his house for sale by owner. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm here at this meeting. I'm not feeling it today. Don't really want to go to it, but I'm going to fake it and go, I guess. You got this. Staying in here? I think I am. Okay. I gotta get a deal. Well, that actually went pretty well. I knew it would. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> Why? I just had a good feeling. Hmm. Sorry I left you out here for so long. No, it's okay. I, like, I really got a lot of stuff done. I went through like two billion emails. I got a deal going. It's fun to see Bear. She's cool. And probably going to be working with this company, which is like eight companies in one, but cool. Anyway, ran over. I'm going to do better with vlogs. I'm going to show you some stuff that I shot with Allie in, 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 in Portland in this vlog, probably. I'm probably not going to do daily vlogs because my life is just too boring. But I am going to do weekly vlogs and more than just once a week. Sometimes maybe just once a week. But I'm committed to do this. I just think my life is a little more boring than I thought it was. But, and I think YouTube's fucking with me. More on that later. But I think they're fucking with me. 